Hi, Kerry here from My Cloud Bookkeeping. I work with small businesses and entrepreneurs to help them manage their business finances in QuickBooks Online. If you're not sure if you're using the best plan for your business, check out my plan comparison below and be sure to watch right to the end for useful tips for your business. Credits in QuickBooks Online can be a bit of a mess. If you have a relatively simple situation where you're providing a refund or a discount after the invoice has been issued, then a credit memo is the way to go. Once you've created and sent an invoice, it's not good practice to change it, particularly if it relates to a prior month. There could be sales tax on it, it may have been included in an income tax filing, and you'll end up creating an even bigger mess. So today I'll show you how to have a credit memo reduce the amount owing to your customer and apply it to their invoice. Here I am, a sample company once again, and of course it's a landscaping company. And one of my customers, Paulson Medical, is going to be returning their rock fountain. So I'm going to pop up here, new again, credit memo. And we're going to issue them a credit for the rock fountain. So where are we, Paulson Medical? Maybe we're going to give them a new one. Maybe it didn't work, but I'm going to grab this rock fountain. Here it is. They it were invoiced $275 for it. I'm taking tax out just for simplicity. So um, customer name, date of the credit memo, and what it is that they're returning. Now I could also be providing them a discount because maybe our, I don't know, the design services were weird or something didn't work like it, it should have, in which case I would be popping in here and putting design and giving them a 10% discount or, or whatever it is. But what I'm saying this scenario is, is the return of something that they purchased. Because these are typically when we'd use a, a credit memo. So now I'm going to save and close this. And in order to apply the credit memo to the invoice, I'm going to pop up here to new and receive payment. There is a setting you can have that automatically applies credits to invoices. I don't like that. It may not apply it to the correct invoice. So I'm going to go and choose my customer here. And what you will see will pop up is an invoice for $954.75 and here's the credit memo we just created for $275. So what it's doing is we're not receiving actually any money. So the amount received is zero. You'll see there's a deposit to undeposited funds. This could also be to the bank, whatever, but we're not receiving any money. So it's a zero transaction. We're applying this $275 credit to the invoice. And in the small print up here, you'll notice the customer balance after the $275 will be $679.75. So this is how you apply the credit memo to the invoice. So now we're gonna save and close this and pop in to the customer. Where are we customers and leads? Customers, we select Paulson. And once again, this open balance is correct. The invoice here is showing us partially paid. The credit memo has been applied. And now we need to collect the 679.75 that's showing up here and here. And if we wanted, we could even send them a statement that would show them what's gone on. So I'm going to create a transaction statement. I'm not too sure what's been going on with them all year. So I'm just going to put from the beginning of the year and apply. And let's print or preview this statement. You can see that they had an invoice. That we've received two seventy-five, and the amount due is six seventy-nine seventy-five. So we can email this directly from here, showing Paulsons that we have processed the credit. We probably could have emailed that credit memo to them as well, and asking them to pay the outstanding balance of six seventy-nine seventy-five. So this is one of those scenarios where it's very easy to apply a credit, to create a credit memo. Some of the other scenarios where you've been short paid or those sorts of things can be a little bit of a mess, but this one's nice and easy. Hopefully that will make it easier for you to reduce the amount your customers owe you without having to change invoices or ah, do journal entries. <laughs> I really have seen it all. So a credit memo is a clean and tidy way to deal with returns and discounts after the invoice has been issued. 
and in order to keep on top of what your customers owe you, it's important to regularly run your accounts receivable report. Download my month-end checklist below to ensure that you're getting all the information you need to manage your business finances and what you're looking at is accurate. If you have any questions or comments, please make a note below. I love to hear from you. Cheers.